The day we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Wednesday, December 8, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. New York Knicks vs Indiana Pacers The bright spots have been few and far between for New York, who have lost four of their last five games. The Knicks rank 25th in pace through their first 23 games of the season. It is not surprising, considering the style coach Tom Thibodeau likes to employ for his squads. With Kemba Walker banished from the rotation, Alec Burks has been thrust into a starting role. The 10th-year veteran is averaging 11.3 points on 41.7% shooting. Our first betting advice is to pick New York Knicks plus 4.5 for the year, Indiana is 15th in the league in scoring offense, with 107.6 points per game this season. The Pacers are 11th in rebounding with an average of 45.7 boards a night, while they are 13th in assists, by dishing out 23.7 dimes per contest. Indiana is 15th in scoring defense, as they allow an average of 106.8 points per game on the year. DeMantis Sabanis is second on the team with 17.8 points plus 12 rebounds and 4.1 assists per game. Malcolm Brogdon, 20.5 points, 5.8 rebounds, 6.2 assists, Chris Duarte, 13.1 points, Karis Levert, 14.9 points, and Miles Turner, 12.6 points, 7.5 rebounds, 2.8 blocks, are averaging in double figures. Ashi Brissett, Jeremy Lamb, Justin Holiday, TJ McConnell and Tory Craig are other rotation pieces for Indiana. The Pacers are 14th in the league in field goal percentage, as they are shooting 45.8% from the floor as a team. Indiana is 19th in the league in threes per game, as they splash 11.7 per contest, and the team is 25th by shooting 32.8% from beyond the arc on the year. Our second betting advice is to pick over 212.5. Chicago Bulls vs Cleveland Cavaliers. The Bulls rank top 10 in both defensive and offensive rating through the first 24 games of the year. Their rejuvenated roster has done wonders on both ends of the floor. Former Raptor and Spurs standout Demer Derrison is averaging a robust 25.9 points, 5.2 rebounds, and 4.2 assists. It's been an excellent start for Bulls fans, and as long as they stay healthy, they'll be competitive in the East deep into the season. Our first betting advice is to pick Chicago Bulls, plus three. Like the Suns and Bucks, this Bulls team can defend well, even when shorthanded. Lonzo Bull is going to make life difficult on Cavs top scorer Darius Garland. This is one of those matchups where he'll have to continue elevating his offensive game or hope someone else steps up. But the Cavs are only averaging 102 points per game on their home floor. So where is that offense going to come from if Garland struggles? That's when the team will have to start looking towards the two towers in the front court, Jared Allen and Evan Mobley, to win their matchups down low. Oh, and let's not forget about Laurie Markkinen. He had a solid night in the loss to the Bucks, 20 points on 46.7% shooting. Our second betting advice is to pick under 210.5. Quick reminder, BetUS is a platform that offers betting on all major sport and horse racing leagues. It has slots, table games, blackjack, and a variety of other casino games. All of the major US leagues are available for betting, including the NFL, NBA, NHL, MLB, and PGA. In addition, BetUS allows wagers on esports, Olympic events, soccer, cricket, boxing, cycling, and many more competitions. Join BetUS now using our link down below and get 125% cash back bonus on your first deposit on the sportsbook after you open an account and deposit using our link and use our promo code HIGHSTAKES. Washington Wizards vs Detroit Pistons. But Indiana outrebounded Washington 40-30 and grabbed 13 offensive boards. The second chance points put the Pacers over the top. 
plus, they made 21 of 22 from the charity stripe. Bradley Beal broke out for 34 points to lead Washington. Beal leads the team with 22.5 points per game. Daniel Gafford and Kyle Kuzma each had 14 points, while Montrezl Harrell and Aaron Holiday each had 11 points. The Wizards remain without Rui Hachimura and Thomas Bryant, who are both out until mid-December. Our first betting advice is to pick Washington Wizards, minus 6.5, there's at least some hope against a Washington team that has slipped in their defensive efforts. The Wizards have allowed 116 plus points in two of their last three games. Of course, I wouldn't hold my breath for the Pistons to actually hit that scoring mark, considering the team is struggling with the second worst scoring offense in the league. They can hardly buy a bucket on the floor. Cunningham has a high ceiling, but he's still clearly a work in progress. So that pretty much leaves Jeremy Grant as the only consistent and reliable scoring option for Detroit. Our second betting advice is to pick under 209.5. Philadelphia 76ers vs Charlotte Hornets. Philadelphia is scoring an average of 107.0 points per game, while shooting 45.9% overall, and 36.0% from behind the three-point line. Embiid is the leading scorer for Philadelphia with an average of 23.9 points per game, while Tobias Harris is the second leading scorer, with an average of 19.3 points per game. Philadelphia is led in assists by Therese Maxey, who is questionable for Wednesday, with an average of 4.9 dishes per contest. As a team, Philadelphia averages 22.8 assists and 11.8 turnovers per game, for an assist-to-turnover ratio of 1.9. Charlotte's defense is as bad as its offense is good, as the Hornets are allowing an average of 116.3 points per game, which is 30th in the NBA. Opponents are shooting 47.0% overall, and 35.0% from behind the three-point line. Charlotte allows an average of 48.2 rebounds per game which is 29th, and the Hornets are averaging 44.1 rebounds per game. Bowl is the leading rebounder for Charlotte, but in his absence, Bridges is the leader with an average of 7.3 per game. The leader in steals is Cody Martin, with an average of 1.3 per game, while the SWAT master is PJ Washington, with an average of 1.1 blocked shots per contest. Our first betting advice is to pick Charlotte Hornets plus 7. His scoring nearly willed the Hornets to an overtime win over the Sixers in a game where Joel Embiid needed to pull out the red cape to top him. The Hornets clearly need that offensive production to continue on Wednesday to knock off the Sixers in their current shorthanded state. Defense remains the biggest issue facing Charlotte this season, and it reared its ugly head once again in the matchup with Philly. The Sixers came into that game averaging 105.4 points per game on the road and finished with 127 points and 52.9% shooting. It really should come as no surprise for a Hornets team with the second-worst defensive rating in the league. They lean solely on their offensive firepower to keep them in games. The Hornets are still down several key players, and the up-and-down Sixers have a real chance to show some defensive life and shut things down on Wednesday. Honestly, I wouldn't make much of Embiid of needing 43 points to put the finishing touches on Charlotte in their current state. The team has been resilient since the start of the season, and Uber was obviously wearing his like Mike sneakers. Our second betting advice is to pick over 217.5.